Good. Coach mentioned, um, you know, your injury at, at the beginning of the season and kind of the progress that you've made um, a, as the season progresses. Just talk about, you know, you know how your fitness had had progressed after that, you know, initial injury and how you kind of were able to kind of play back into form as the season went on. Yeah, I think when you have to take time off, it just gets you to realize so much of what you're missing out of and motivates you to want to get back and get better. Um, I always just say we have a great support staff here and everyone who helps me get to my fitness level really helped a lot. Um, Carol and Chad, they made sure every day I knew what I was doing and what was expected of me that day. Hey, Maddie, how are you? It's Jody with Cardinal Authority. You, you guys lose last week. What's the mentality now? And and, and, and did it kind of refocus you guys a little bit when you, when you take one on the chin and, and you get knocked out early in the ACC? Yeah, I think it um, gave us a bigger motivation and realized we can't take any games off. Um, this is now the time where it's one and done. So it should motivate us to be the first to the ball, get those 50-50 balls, and go one step further. Hey, Maddie, it's Daniel Rankin with the Louisville Cardinal. Congrats on a great season. Uh, obviously, you guys have been here before with the success of last year, and you've faced a lot of ranked opponents this year. Um, how important is that experience as you go into the tournament? Yeah, I think it helps us. Um, and as a team, we're bringing back a lot of the experienced players, so I think it helps that we know how to be in these situations and what you have to do to fight till the very end and use each other, play as a team, and play Louisville field hockey. Justine had said that you guys, she didn't even know a lot about uh, you know Harvard until you guys kind of started looking at them. What do you know about them and, and kind of what do you expect? And, and how much fun is it to play somebody that, that, that you don't really know, somebody different than, than the ACC and teams and the teams you've been playing? Yeah, um, like Coach said, we don't really know a lot about them. Today at practice, we started to do a bit more scouting, press, outlet. Um, they're pretty individual and have some key players. So um, staying in the play, our defense, shutting down those key players will be really helpful. Maddie, uh, one of the, it seems like, trademarks about this team is the fact that there isn't necessarily one star, but, you know, a, a solid nucleus of, you know, really solid players. How do you think that that kind of works to your advantage when it comes to having to scout Louisville, having so many players that can beat you? Yeah, I think um, it helps because we play as a team more than just having that one player or two players doing everything. So, if one of our players isn't having their best game, then we have other options to go around and use each other and everyone else step up. And kind of building off that, um, returning nine of the 11 starters from a team that made the Final Four for the first time in program history last spring, um, you do you did have to replace two really key players in crucial parts of the field. But bringing back that experience, you know, how does that help, you know, go into a postseason environment where you're, you know, traveling up north? It's not necessarily a surface that you're really keen on playing on. You know, how does that, you know, help you, you know, in, in terms of playing a team that necessarily doesn't have that experience in Harvard? Yeah, I think we this whole season, we've done a great job of filling those positions that we've lost. Um, and then it just goes back to we're not an individual team. So using everyone on the field, all 11 players, to you, to our success. And then the last one I have, uh, Justine winning uh, Coach of the Year in the ACC. Uh, just talk about, you know, what, what makes her stand out, you know, across the country when it comes to her style of play. I mean, she's very decorated as a player, you know, winning gold medals and, 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 and such. So, I mean, how, how key is it to have someone who's had that success as a player be able to come in and lead a program? Yeah, um, ever since I started to come to camps here, I just saw how much the coaching staff, especially Justine, wanted to be out on the field, wanted you to get better, and just how much they really care. Um, so that shows a lot. And as a player, that makes you want to work harder for them because you're building that great relationship and you know that she cares for you. She wants to get better. She wants the team to get better. So it really helps.
Okay, anything else for Maddie? That's all I got. Thanks, Maddie. Thank Appreciate you, Maddie. you, Maddie. Thank you.